Thailand is now the Myanmar junta's favored banking destination as military attacks ramped up, UN experts say. Myanmar junta chief Min Aung Hiaing during a ceremony to mock the country's armed forces stay in Nepidao on March 27, 2024, Hong Kong, Bangkok, CNN. International banks that are playing a significant role in the Myanmar military junta's ability to carry out its system, system, systematic and deadly assault on its people. A new United Nations backed report has found Thai banks has now become the main source through which the Myanmar military is buying weapons and mil military supplies, including parts for helicopter gunships uh, used to, to support its three-year civil war that has devastated the country and killed more than 5,000 civilians. Tom Andrews, the UN Special Reporter, for human rights in Myanmar said in a new report Wednesday, since seizing power in the COP in February 2021, the military has been fighting a depending war against ethnic armed groups and the people's resist resistance forces across the Myanmar. In recent months, it has faced significant losses of territory and troops. As it contends with the widespread public opposition and the economic crisis that has sparked the soaring levels of poverty, the junta has increased airstrikes and attacks against civilians and civilian infrastructure, displacing more than 3 million people. Andrews said the junta has increased each deadly area attacks against civilian targets by fivefold in the past six months, fueling the humanitarian crisis as a seek to scare, scare civilians into seizing resistance to the military. They are able to do that by procuring weapons from abroad, and that's made possible by the services they receive from this bank. Andrews told CNN the military's brutal campaign of violence has prompted prompted Western nations to impose wide-ranging sanctions on military leaders, family and cronies, state-owned companies, banks and jet fuel suppliers. The report banking on the death trade. How banks and the government enabled the military junta in Myanmar found that 16 banks in seven countries have processed transactions linked to the military's procurement in the past year. Weapons, dual use technologies, manufacturing equipment, and law materials secured by the junta from abroad reached $253 million between April 2023 and March 2024, the report said. By relying on the financial institutions that are ill willing to willing to do business with Myanmar state-owned banks under its control, the junta has already access to the financial services it needs to carry out systematic human rights violations, including area attacks on civilians, Andrews wrote in the report. However, the volume of weapons and military supplies purchased by the junta through foreign banks that has decreased by the third from 2023 with the export from Singapore dropping dropping dramatically according to the report the good news is that the junta is increasingly isolated the report said that the bad news is that the junta is circumventing sanctions and other measures by explo explo eating gaps in sanctions regimes, shifting financial institutions, and taking advantage of the uh, failure of member states to fully coordinate and re um, enforce actions. International banks, the Andrew said, need to know there is a high likelihood that transactions involving Myanmar's state-owned entities could be used to buy the weapons or weapons-grade materials fueling the junta's war chest. If you want to 
be sure that isn't isn't happening. Then don't conduct business with Myanmar's state-owned banks," he said. The soldiers from the Karen National Liberation Army patrol on the vehicle next to the area destroyed by the Myanmar military airstrike on in uh, Myan Wadi, a Thailand Myanmar border town in Myanmar, April 15, 2024. The Thai connection. The Singapore-based entities were Myanmar's third largest source of weapons and military materials. But following the government investigation, the flow of weapons materials to the Myanmar from Singapore registered companies dropped by nearly 90% compared to the previous year. In 2022, Singapore-based banks facilitated more than 70% of Junta's purchases passing through the banking system. By 2023, that had dropped to under 20%, the report found. Looking for other financial institutions, the Junta found neighboring Thailand. Between 2022 and 2023, export of weapons and re related materials from Thai-based entities more than doubled, from $60 million to nearly $130 million last year. Many SAC Junta purchases previously made from Singapore-based entities, including part of M. I-17 and the MI-35 helicopters used to conduct airstrike on civilian targets are now being soared by Thailand, the report said. Xi'an Commercial Bank is among the Thai banks that has played a crucial role in the shift, the report found. In 2022, the bank facilitated just over $5 million in transactions relating to the military. By 2023, that figure ballooned to more than $100 million, according to the report. In a statement, ASCB said it, provide, it provides the international transaction services between Thailand and Myanmar with the primary object of supporting Thai and international businesses in paying for consumer products and services to Myanmar. SCB's statement said the bank compi compiles with all relevant anti-money laundering laws and an internal investigation determined each transactions with Myanmar are not conducted to the arms trade. SCB reaffirms its commitment to adhering to relevant anti money laundering and related regulations, the statement added. The spokesperson for Thailand Ministry of Foreign Affairs told the CNN, we have, we have seen the report and are looking into it. Many countries have been named and certainly there are countries where the majority of financial transactions in the region would pass through, the uh, spokesperson said in a statement. Our banking and financial institutions follow banking protocols as any major financial hub, so we will have to first establish the fact before considering any further steps. Andrews told the CNN we, he welcomed the Thai government's decision to look Look into the fact. I'm hopeful that investigation is going to lead to positive changes in Thailand, much as it did in Singapore," he said. In his report, Andrews said that it was critical that financial institutions take their human rights obligations seriously and not facilitate the junta's deadly transactions. In addition, transaction uh, sanctioning the network, network supplying jet fuel to the junta and the military's go-to bank Myanmar, Myanmar Economic Bank could play a decisive role in helping to turn the tide in Myanmar and saving untold numbers of lives, the report said. This story has been updated with additional information.